Hello, everybody. Today I'm going to be bringing you some stuff about a thing called 86 Box. Um, if you've ever done old DOS games and things like that, I'm pretty sure you've loaded up DOS Box. Um, can't really get into the technicals because I'm dumb, but basically DOSBox acts like DOS and it uses your computer's whole resources, which leads you to have to adjust cycle counts and all these other things in order to get things to play at the correct speed that you remember and know it should be because a lot of old games and software depended on CPU speed to do timings of things and all that. Well, you could throw all that out the window because with 86 box, it literally will emulate and simulate old x86 systems. You can see right here, as I've been talking, we've been counting up to about two gigs of RAM on a Pentium 2 that is emulated on my modern system using the software. Um, so you could pick a whole bunch of different pieces of hardware and motherboards all the way from, you know, like 8088s all the way up to 486s, 386s, 286s, and even a, uh, a Celeron. Uh, Celeron's the highest one you could do if your computer could actually do it. It's really hard to do it at full speed in everything that you're going to encounter. Um, that's the reason why it took so long to boot this up is because even though I'm running a 10900 and it boosts up to, you know, 5.2 gigahertz, still can't 100% speed uh, emulate under all circumstances. When you're running kind of like, um, well, any old emulator, you know how you'll see like the percentage uh, of your speed, uh, like in a PlayStation 2 emulator or something like that. Well, same thing happens on this. You could see the percentage of speed as it's running, and it seems to be usually under... Da, 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 da. It's usually under disk access that you will see uh, your speed drop. I'm not really sure why. But yeah, on this system, I have Windows 2000 Professional installed, and that is because of... And 64 things that are happening recently, and I wanted a system. So I'm showing off, uh, booting up um, the time warp of Dr. Brain here. And this is a really good uh, example. Like, you're probably hearing stuttering. I probably lowered the volume of the game while I'm talking, but listen. Unexplored regions of the space time discontinued. Yeah, as I'm doing that, uh, doing this, the, the, the 86 box on here, it's dropping below, well actually for that intro, it wasn't dropping below 100% emulation speed. Uh, it was micro dropping below that, which was leading to some audio issues. Um, and also, it's because I'm emulating such a slow Pentium 2 Xeon. It's actually not fast enough for this game. The object of this We're going to totally get through that, but right here I'm just showing um, this game, so I'll just be quiet for this and you could observe how accurate this is playing. Vehicle directions. Cause exit intersection. The object of this puzzle is to program the intersections to safely return all hover cars to their proper hover pads. Click on active intersections to program vehicle directions. Cars exit intersections in the direction that you program. If the road allows, if a car cannot make a turn you programmed, it will continue forward, following the road. Try to avoid obstacle vehicles when in present. They follow predictable paths. Only one vehicle to a hover path. I love this and game as a kid, by the way. Click I played this all the time. Launch the system when you're ready to test your programming. Hey, 
and I kind of deliberately made a path to beat this level that was meandering, just, yeah. Cerebral cortex must be thickening with new neural connections as you program these lights. I know mine is. I've been driving in circles for hours. Let okay, so after seeing all that, you're probably thinking to yourself, well, emulate a faster Pentium 2. So that's what I'm going to do here. We could take a look at the configuration menu here. You could see you, uh, my mouse cursor is not showing up, but you could see these are the options I have, at least for slot two based motherboards. We've got the Pentium uh, 2 Xeon 75, 133, 166, and 400. And uh, let's try the 400, see what the hell happens. Pretty sure it'll boot up quicker. Yeah, it really counts through that memory real quick. There we go, we got through that nice and quick. Detecting all the drives. Booting up Windows 2000. And I didn't cut anything out from this recording. This is exactly what it's like when you use this except I scaled it up to 4K for you, 400% scaling, so it looks nice. Okay, so we're in Windows, and right about now it's going under 100% speed. I think it's about 40 to 30%, and you could hear it. Struggled to play that. Just the boot up sound. The mouse is real laggy. Everything's just not happy right now. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just get the hell out of here. This is not usable like this. So. Let's eventually get out of this game, reboot the box, and let's do 133 instead. It's a little bit faster than the 75, which is actually 100 megahertz. Old processors have very weird deceiving names sometimes. Like the Pentium 2 75 is 100 megahertz, whatever, you know, sure. So it takes a lot longer to count up the RAM, normal. You know, it's a slower processor. And who the hell would have this much RAM back then? I mean, prob probably on a Pentium 2 Xeon. Maybe a couple higher-end people had this much RAM, but this is an exorbitant amount of RAM for back in the day. I can't go to actually full 2, gigahertz, uh, two gigabytes, um, because the BIOS bugs out and it does weird things on the boot up. That's just a little side note. So I go one step down from that. And we boot up Windows 2000. And this should, this should run a whole lot better. It it will it 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 will still go under 100% speed, like I said. Usually during disk access. Don't know why. But 
once everything calms down, it runs pretty good. And I'm, I'm pretty sure you could tweak the operating system and a couple other things like you would a real computer to make this more compatible and better. So that, that, that played nice. The mouse is nice and smooth. Just waiting for things to calm down. Let's launch it. See what it sounds like. In testing his latest invention, Dr. Brain thought he was merely teleporting himself into last week to find Yes, this is really the main menu of this game, by the way. Hello, traffic eliminator! Good to see you! Let's get to work! Okay, I'm pretty sure you could tell that this is running basically perfectly now. It could be a little bit better. There's still a little weirdness. I think it might be some driver things, because you could also pick um, different sound cards, different video cards, and those are all emulated. I don't know how. You, you actually need um, BIOS ROM files uh, for, for, for all the different hardware and all these things. Those are very easy to find. Um, But yeah, I, I, I don't think anyone should be using DOSBox anymore if this exists. Uh, if you have this set up, uh, you can have a whole bunch of different drive images made for it that have different things installed. And like right now I have this Windows 2000 install. Um, I tried using this in, this particular install on other processors after I already installed it, and Windows 2000 refuses to boot up, which I guess makes sense. It's just a weird thing, I guess, with Windows 2000. But I, yeah, I have Windows 2000, I have OS2 warp 4. Point blah 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 server version I, I ended up going with. I don't know why the server one is the one I wanted to use, but I was playing... Oh, around for a while uh, getting different versions to work. I have um, an install that has DOS 6.2 whatever with Windows 3.1 on the drive and uh, um, I have I use that to, to do DOS stuff and window uh, early Windows 16-bit applications. Um, I haven't tried yet with Linux or anything, any old Linux, but why? Uh, I've tried uh, BOS, but that seems to be a hassle. Weird things end up happening, and I don't blame uh, Haiku for being that way with uh, old hardware configurations with this. Um, I'm not going to do it in this video because this video is already long enough. I'll do a follow-up video basically showing how to set this up from downloading it to getting the ROM images to loading up your first bootable installation of something. Uh, if you made it this far, suggest in the comments. What OS do you want to see installed on this for the tutorial video? Uh, pick anything. Uh, actually, yeah, let's go crazy. If you made it this far, suggest everything to me. Suggest what processor. You can um, with me anytime, baby. I can't give you a list because I already edited this video and I'm just doing voiceover right now and I'm going to render it and upload it. But just name a processor and if it's comp if it's compatible with this and it's in this, I'll do the tutorial with that. Because I'm kind of only expecting like a handful of people to have made it this far in the video. Because you know how people watch YouTube. Uh, Oh yeah, I might as well talk about now because, you know, we just got gameplay here. Um, the reason why you get lag seems to be with the more advanced processors that have extensions and stuff in it, in them. Um, 
you could get a, a lot. You, sometimes it's better to go with a slower processor generation that your that your computer can actually handle 100% speed, real time speed, more often than it is to go with a faster processor. Um, sometimes it's actually good to go with like a Cyrix processor or like a Winship processor, even those historically are crap. And that's just because you could get them to 100% more often. Uh, usually like the Pentium 2, um, Pentium 2 Overdrive. Those are kind of hard to 100% all the time. You, I mean, you could do AMD K6, K6 II, I think K6 III. You could do everything. It's e If you're doing old DOS games, if you're Pixel Amusement on Twitter and you're watching this, you could do 486 stuff easy peasy if you want to do uh, a couple of your episodes and watch my tutorial, please. I love your videos. But yeah, uh, this is basically the, the end right here. This is 86 box. Look out for an upcoming video where I explain how to do things and stuff. And I love you. Bye.